And we're back. Hey everybody, today is going to be the third video in a series of videos that I'm doing about low-cost foods that you can add to your emergency food storage plan. Uh, the idea behind these videos is to spotlight products that offer a lot of nutrition, are easily stored or repackaged for extended periods of time that won't break the bank. Today's video is all about lentils, which are a very nutritious, great option for you to add to your emergency food storage plan when on a budget. Let's get started. From a nutrition standpoint, a simple half cup of this dried legume offers about the same quality amount of protein as you would find in a meat. A half cup of cooked lentils is about 12 grams of protein and additionally provides about 32% of your daily fiber requirement. Lentils offer a lot of vitamins and other essential nutrients, including potassium. And beyond the nutritional value of lentils, just speaking from an emergency preparedness standpoint only, they offer you a great amount of flexibility. They can be cooked relatively easily in about 5 to 20 minutes. They will store well in a cool, dry location and are easily repackaged for long-term storage. And due to the high protein and fiber content in a simple serving of lentils, that will keep your family's hunger well satisfied with a relatively small portion if you are living in an emergency situation. Just a quick note about purchasing lentils. You can buy number 10 cans of lentils by the emergency food storage companies like you see there and pay an exorbitant price for them. Uh, I purchased these years ago uh, back when I was just picking up some things to have around as a backup plan. I would never do that now when you can buy them in bulk at most grocery stores or food outlets for you know pennies on the dollar that you're going to pay through these kind of companies. Hey everybody we're here at my local Winco. Winco is a great resource for emergency preparedness. This bulk food section is where you want to shop for exactly the kind of products that we're talking about today. There's all kinds of rice, beans, there's buckets of food, and this is a great value and a way to save money in anything that you're trying to do in emergency preparedness. And one of the Winco employees has given me a hand here uh, so I can film, and we're just gonna fill up a sack of red lentils here. And at $1.30 a pound, this is a big cost savings to you versus buying pre-canned emergency foods from some of the companies that want to, you know, gouge you on the prices on these things. Perfect. Yeah, we're in good. In this case, I just put them in the old a jar with a food saver and vacuum sealed them up, and you can store uh, lentils and other dried beans that way as well. So for today's practice session, I'm going to take about a cup of lentils. And that's what we're going to make our recipe out of today, just kind of giving you an idea of how these things can be used. Everybody, I think, has had lentil soup. That's kind of a normal uh, recipe with these things, but we're going to do something a little bit different today and make some lentil tacos. I'm going to pre-cook my lentils. I'm going to dump those into the pan there. We'll cover them up with some water. doesn't have to be a measured amount. I just want to make sure that they're covered. And we'll go ahead and cook these guys up till they're softened up a bit before we move on with the recipe. Okay, I put a little oil in the pan. I'm going to throw our lentil onion mixture in there. We're going to fry this up. And we're going to add some of this taco seasoning. I mentioned this in our first video that we made about emergency food storage and the importance of having seasoning, garlic powders, any of those types of things you like. Make sure that you have some of that stuff on hand as part of your emergency food storage and you'll be very happy that you did later on when you're making up different foods and things and you can spice them up and flavor them differently. I think seasoning packets and different ways to flavor foods that you're going to try to make different recipes out of the same raw products will be invaluable if you were living off this stuff. Okay, we've got our corn tortillas warmed up a little bit. I threw a little bit of cheese in them because you know, I'm going to be eating these things tonight. So now we're just going to take some of our lentil onion mixture here. We'll throw it in these taco shells. And just like that, you've got 
a pretty decent meal ready to go that might be a very tasty option for you if you were just eating out of the same old food storages for any length of time. This is just one more layer that you can add in your food storage plan that won't break the bank. And for our recipe tonight, since I'm not living in a grid down or emergency situation, I'm going to go ahead and chop up some avocado and that's going to make these lentil tacos really good. Hey everybody, thanks for watching today's video. I truly hope that this series of videos that we've been doing is helpful to somebody out there. There's no shortage of companies out there trying to make a profit off of emergency preparedness supplies and gizmos and gadgets these days. What we're trying to cover here is a way that you can buy nutritious foods without breaking the bank. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button down below if you appreciate the content that we've provided for you in today's video. And remember, as always, get ready so that you and your family can succeed and thrive.